All right, y'all. Last video I did kind of the uh, update of everything's here. Got all the pieces, got everything I needed, um, and pretty much ready to roll. Roll along, move forward with the welding of this rock solid kit on the old Ginger Z28. Um, I kind of realized that I did, I missed the step, you know, with it. I got all super excited that I had everything cut off and shit was ready to go. But, what I realized was I didn't really get a lot of information. You know, Rock Solid makes a killer product. I'm not down on them guys whatsoever. Um, you know, all this shit that we do is just we kind of do it and make it happen. But the fronting uh, tubular kit that I got from them, amazing product. It's going to fit just fine. But the deal that I ran into, excuse me, is where... Where do you cut the front end off? Where, you know, you're looking at your car and you're like, okay, so where do I cut it to get to this point? There's really nothing in there that tells you where to do it. Um, and there's a lot that you chop off of the car. And it, again, I apologize for the shakiness of the video. I don't really have much to keep it steady. One man wrecking crew, you know, like I said in the last one. But, um, where do you cut this off? Where do you know where where do you start to chop your car and, and feel comfortable that okay I've cut the front end off of my car and you don't look like I did like shit I just cut the front end off my car. Um, I got a lot of info from the guys at Rock Solid. I called up there. Super 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 good guys. Um, shout out to them, dude. You know they've the killer product. Uh, and again, it, it's not down in them whatsoever, but. Where the hell do I cut my car? You know, if, I, if I'm going to chop my car up to do this, where do I cut it? Um, and I did a lot of research on some of the pictures they have on their website and kind of where they, you know, where it looked like they cut stuff at. And basically what I found uh, when I went to cut this thing to get all, you know, to get to this point to where I'm at to be ready to weld on. There's a lot you got to do, man. I mean, there's a lot you got to kind of look at to cut your car up. And if you look, this will make a little more sense once I get back over to the car. But this, you know, you get kind of, it kind of drops down right there um, on that inner fender to where uh, the battery mount and everything is on that side. You know, you, you're definitely going to have to relocate your battery and stuff. The front end is chopped all the crap because I cut a bunch off of it. So I'm, I'm hoping this makes some kind of sense to some people and it helps them, you know. That's kind of what I'm here to do, help out. You know, if it helped and worked out for you, then hey, cool. But where I had to cut, if you look at this thing, let's get this turned around. Where I cut it was where it starts, it just starts to kind of come out. You know, you've got this good flat piece right up against there and then it just starts to come out and and you know bow out and go down to where the battery tray is where i found a cut which it worked out perfect was i just went straight across where this was all completely flat still from top to bottom before it made that transition into the battery um, tray and this right down here, you know, where the frame rail is, it's just one straight line, man. I mean, where this is flat, just come straight down, cut that off, straight out here, and cut that off where the fender hangs. And this is what you're going to end up with. Um, you know, I had to put a jack underneath the front end of it, get, get it jacked up, keep it from, you know, flopping down on the ground. So once I had that held up, I went to the other side and I marked, you know, I marked on the other side over here, kind of basically the same way where this is flat and right where it starts to transition is where I made my cut. And it worked out good, man. I mean, it, it, it's going to work out perfect where this thing sits. You've got, you know, you've got a an inch or so of leeway in there where, you know, if you go back a little bit or, or forward a little bit, but right where this, this comes over, rolls down and just starts to be flat, that's where I chopped it off. And 
holding up the the kit you know with the bars and everything else it's basically it's going to be perfect and that's kind of what it looked like you know uh, on their cars on their website on the ones that they've done so it's not a, a difficult deal i think the hardest part for me was taking a cutoff wheel and cutting my freaking car up you know it was that was scary shit man because once you cut it dude that's it i mean it's metal you can always weld it back but you know who wants to cut the front end off their car weld it back and then try to say they're building some nice shit so <clears throat> you know again just another kind of quick video not really an update but just some shit that i forgot because i got all excited you know got ready to get this shit done chopped it off and was ready to show you guys here's how you weld it on well you know where the hell do you cut it that's where i i found works best that's kind of you know where i'm gonna go with it from there i think it's gonna work out fine it pretty much looks like the you know the red one they've got on their website so i think i did all right i think you know that'll be helpful for people that are just just doing this just getting that kit so uh stay tuned man we got uh, we got the welder coming so we're gonna get the pieces for that and start getting that welded up and get the get the intercooler hung on this thing figure out where the turbo is gonna go and shit man we're we're gonna be rolling from there so um i guess stay tuned we'll holler we'll see you at the next one